Hey guys, John here from JK Conditioning with Canadian Running, and in this video today, I'm gonna to be going over my latest article, Time to Get Trail Strong. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all our latest fitness videos to help you become a stronger runner. All right, so the trail special from Canadian Running just got released the other week, and in it has my latest article called Time to Get Trail Strong. So we thought we'd make another video to go over the workout. There's actually three mini workouts in this article. Each workout will focus on a specific trait. So the first workout is gonna focus on stability. The second workout is gonna focus on strength. And the last workout is gonna focus on power. All right, so the first workout focuses on stability. So the two exercises here are called a mini squat with toe reach. And the second exercise is a single leg banded knee drive to hip abduction. So the goal with this workout is to create a sense of stability and to practice balance. So obviously when running on trails, we can run on unlevel ground, we can run over roots, rocks. We need to have good balance. So this workout will focus on developing your balance. So with the first exercise, what you wanna focus on is standing on one leg with the knee soft. You wanna maintain a level pelvis while you take the other leg and reach it at 12 o'clock, three o'clock and six o'clock, or if you're using your left leg, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock and six o'clock. So the goal here is to maintain that level pelvis and to reach forward, sideways and back 10 times through without stopping or grabbing onto anything. The second exercise involves a mini band wrapped around your feet. You're gonna stand on one leg. This time, lock your other knee and maintain a nice level pelvic position. With that other leg, that non-stance leg, I want you to bring your knee up towards your body. Keep a nice stable body position Keep your abs braced and notice that squeeze in the glute to make sure your pelvis stays level. You're going to hold this position for a second. You're going to bring your leg all the way down and then you're going to bring your leg out to what I call the back corner. So you're going to turn your foot out slightly and then move that foot out to the back corner to activate your glutes. All while this is happening, again, maintain that level pelvis position and then bring that leg back to the midline and then return it to the chest. Go through this 10 times in a row without holding on to anything and then switch sides. All right, so the second workout focuses on developing strength. So the two exercises here are reverse lunge to a knee up with a calf raise and the second exercise is a split squat countdown. So with the reverse lunge to knee up and calf raise, you're gonna start with your feet hip width apart. You're gonna take a lunge back. You're gonna gently bring your knee towards the floor. And then as you stand, you're gonna push off that rear leg to stand you up. You're gonna drive that front leg down to help you stand up. And then what I want you to do is kind of get that forward lean that you get when you're sprinting. You're gonna bring your knee towards your chest, keep your toes up and then go onto your toes. So you're gonna do a calf raise at the top of the lunge. You'll then bring that foot down, you'll take another step back and do the same leg again. I'd like you to do 20 reps per side. The second exercise is called a split squat countdown. So what you'll do here is you'll go into a lunge position. You'll have one leg behind you, one leg in front of you. You're going to bend that big toe joint and you're gonna bring that knee down just above the ground. You're gonna hover for eight seconds. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna build that burn, you're gonna build that acid feeling in the quads to hold you in that position. What you'll do after that is you're gonna do eight quick dynamic reps to pump the muscle. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to develop that strength endurance, that ability to get through the burn, that un uncomfortable feeling when, when you're running up hills or you're, you're running over obstacles when you're running in the trail. So after you do eight dynamic reps, you're gonna hold the bottom position for seven seconds. Then you're gonna do seven reps. And you can see the pattern. We're gonna work our way down. Six, five, four, three, two, and all the way to one. At the top of the motion, try not to lock your knee joints. Keep, them, keep the joint soft so that your quads take that strain, that stress, and over the set, counting down from eight to one, your quads are gonna be on fire. After you finish that side, make sure you switch sides. All right, and the last workout focuses on power. So we're gonna do some plyometrics here. So what you're gonna do here, the two exercises, are a jump squat into a jump lunge, and then the second exercise is a dead start lunge jump. So the first exercise, the jump squat to the jump lunge, you're gonna do a jump squat. You can jump as high as you can. You're gonna land softly, but while in midair, you're gonna split your feet up and land in a lunge. You're gonna gently bring your knee towards the floor, try not to bang your knee off the ground. You're gonna then explode up in that split stance, in that lunge stance. You'll switch your legs in the air, land in the other, the opposite lunge stance, 
land softly, explode up, and then land with your feet parallel again or in that squat stance to then repeat. So we're gonna go jump squat, jump lunge, other side jump lunge, jump squat again, and then repeat. So you're gonna do that 15 times through. So the goal here is to jump as high as you can and to develop as much power as you can. And the second exercise in the power focus workout is a dead start lunge jump. So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna kneel on the ground. If the ground is hard, just get a, a thin cushion that you can put underneath your knee. And you're actually gonna rest your knee on the ground. What I'd like you to do is you're gonna swing your arms back and you're gonna create as much power as possible to leave the ground, to get as much height as possible. You're gonna land in that same stance, so don't switch your legs like in the other exercise. You're then gonna gently kneel back on that cushion and then swing your arms and then do it again. So the goal here is to start from a dead start with zero momentum and to create as much power as possible. So the goal here is to do 10 really explosive jumps per side. So there you go guys, that's the article. There's three different workouts for you to do. Stability, strength, and power. Pick one and do one after each run throughout the week. If you wanna do this once a week, you can. If you'd like to do it twice a week, that's also fine. But just listen to your body, listen to the joints, and then go along accordingly. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next issue.